What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new top 10 video. Now, I haven't done one of these in a while, but with Ready Player One just coming out this past week, in which if you didn't watch my review, I absolutely love that film. I've already seen it three times. But the great Steven Spielberg is one of the best directors out there. He directed Ready Player One, so I thought it'd be cool to go back, revisit his filmography, and say, what is my definitive top 10 Steven Spielberg films? Yes, I did say that. My top 10. Yes, everyone's going to have a different top 10. Everyone's going to have a different favorite. So again, this is my list, but please comment down below and tell me what is your guys' favorite Steven Spielberg films. That's what I want to hear about it down below. I think a lot of us are going to have a different number one, different number two, different number three, and so on and so forth. But the other thing I want to make sure before we get going is that at the end of this video, I'm going to be showing some Stardust reactions from some of you guys who have tagged me in videos that you guys have some of your favorite Steven Spielberg films. This is going to be a ton of fun, guys. Can't wait to get to this. So, without further ado, let's get started. With my honorable mentions, we got AI, Close Encounters, and I also threw in The Color Purple in there. The Color Purple, is, I think, is probably easily Spielberg's most underrated film. It is such a good film. If you haven't seen The Color Purple, please go check it out. You know, a lot of people do forget that the guy did direct Adventures of Tintin, and Tintin is one of like the best animated features of the last couple of years. I love Tintin. It's such a great adventure film, and I just want a sequel to Tintin now. Let's start at my number 10, and my number 10 is going to be Schindler's List. This film is a tough watch, but it is fantastic to say the least. It is such an engrossing story, given one of the best performances I think of the last decade, or not even decade, because this film's older than a decade, but one of the greatest performances I think of in all film history, and that is Liam Neeson as Schindler himself. He embodies this character, and just his journey, his personal journey that he faces throughout this whole film is such different. You don't see that in films. And it just, I think to date, this is Spielberg's best film to date that he has made top to bottom. This is his best. It's not one of the most rewatchable films. It is a very long film and a very engrossing film that takes time, but it is definitely worth the watch to see where is stuff going to go. And Schindler's List is a great film. I mean, at number nine is actually a minority report. Now this is the film that I actually just saw not that too long ago. And I love this film. The sci-fi elements in here are great. Tom Cruise is great. Colin Farrell's fantastic. He plays a villain that you don't know if is he a good guy, is he a bad guy, can kind of side with him, but he also has that sweet swagger and charm to him that's just great that Colin Farrell always brings into him. But Minority Report is such a cool concept. Knowing that like you could be arrested for a crime that you haven't even committed yet, this is something that like I could see physically coming into the real world today, and I think Steel Steven Spielberg really shaped that in a nice manner of way, being into Minority Report. I really like Minority Report. I think it's such an underrated, another underrated film that Steven Spielberg has done. Moving in number eight, it's going to be E.T. Yes, E.T. Go Home. I, this is a classic. This is a classic film. I know a lot, some people actually don't like E.T., but I enjoy E.T. E.T. is such a fun coming of age film of some sense with these kids finding an extraterrestrial alien and just Spielberg is the one that crafts the magic. E.T. still holds up to this day. It's totally worth it and I just, I can't say much more about E.T. It's just, it's an enjoyable watch. It's for families, for grown-ups, for adults, for kids, it doesn't matter. I think E.T. is like the perfect family film and even though it's a little scary at times, it's just great and has some of the gr most memorable score. I love the score for E.T. and also I think it has one of the most memorable scenes is when the kid's flying with his bike over by the moon. It, it's, it's pitch perfect, just a great scene. Coming in number seven is a fairly new film, and that is Ready Player One. I've seen this three times. When I walked out, it when I originally made this list, when I walked out of the film, I had Ready Player One in my honorable mentions. Saw it again, it moved up. Saw it again, it moved up again. I absolutely love this film. I love this film so much. Like this film is everything I wanted it to be and more. The performances are great. I believe in the romance, which is something I didn't know if I was going to believe in, especially from the book. And every change that they made from the book actually worked for me. I know it's not a perfect adaption, but I think the adaption that they took into it, taking this world of the Oasis, is great. They really just fully realized it, and I would love to see a sequel to this. I love all the craftsmanship, all the tiny details in this film. I think only Spielberg could have directed this film, and as great as it is, Spielberg really has 
he brought his magic back that we have not seen in years. And number six is actually going to be War of the Worlds, another Tom Cruise film with Steven Spielberg. This is such a good film. War of the Worlds is such an enjoyable film. It's a thrilling film, and it's very scary at times. I mean, that basement scene with the alien going around, just great. It all holds up. I think the one thing I don't like about this film is the ending, per se, but overall, I just love it all. The family element, the bonding element you have with these kids, the, the aliens attacking inches. I'm always a big sucker for a good alien and invasion film and War of the Worlds is a great Asian invasion film that you just don't know what's going to be going on, what's going great. And I mean, I remember when I was a kid, I would rewatch this film so much because it just was thrilling. It was entertaining and it's just a great film. Coming at number five, I think a lot of people are going to be shit for this, but Jaws. I love Jaws. I grew up with it, scared the shit out of me, didn't want to go to the beach. And uh, I mean, this was pretty much the first blockbuster. I mean, Steven Spielberg is the guy who invented the term blockbuster because if you don't know what it is, it's people breaking the block, waiting to see a film. And at least that's how I get it. But um, Jaws, terrifying. The way that you just look behind the scenes, the performances are great. I mean, the fact that the shark broke and Steven Spielberg made it still scary by not showing the shark is great. But well, we're not going to talk about the sequels, but Jaws is a frightening film. Jaws, it's just a classic. It's a classic film. And the fact this is so early on in Spielberg's filmography is even more insane because people probably saw this and were like, damn, this dude's gonna have a career. And I mean, that's what we're saying now. I mean, this guy is easily one of the best directors in Hollywood. I mean, number four is actually gonna be Saving Private Ryan. This is one of the first Steven Spielberg films I actually ever saw. And I watched it with my dad. Long film, enduring film, but those first like that first hour is so gripping. It's so intense. And I mean, the whole Normandy scene is one of the best war scenes, I think, to date. This film carries a fantastic performance by Tom Hanks and just the whole cast all around. I just, this isn't a film that I've rewatched constantly, but it's a film that has really stuck with me. The imagery, the story, the characters you meet in this that have just gripped onto me. And when I think of war films, Saving Private Ryan is one of the first films I ever think of. Now we move to my number three favorite Steven Spielberg film. And can you guess it? It's Jurassic Park. I love dinosaurs. I love Jurassic Park. I even like the second movie, but my third favorite Steven Spielberg film is Jurassic Park. The guy brought charisma, charm, but also a horror thrilling vibe to it with Jurassic Park with the dinosaurs and the fact this film holds up so well the dinosaurs look so well using more or less CGI and using more puppetry more actual practical effects is the way to go that I wish more films went today and again Spielberg is just a master at controlling these puppetry making it work so well in the scene and just the characters in here are great easily the best characters throughout any of the Jurassic Park films and this is still easily the best Jurassic Park film I just love this film like it, it's such a magical thing and I have so many great memories with this film I even wanted to go to Jurassic Park even after all this shit happened I mean at number two is another great Steven Spielberg film probably in my top 10 of all time and that is Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark my easily my favorite Indiana Jones film Easily my favorite adventure film. Easily one of my favorite action films. I love this film. I can rewatch it. I probably rewatch it at least twice a month. I just love Raiders of the Lost Ark. The score is great. Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones is just the perfect combination of so much adventure and action. And I actually really enjoy all the Indiana Jones films overall. Which you will. I do enjoy the fourth one for what it is. But I like the three. I mean, three and one were kind of going back and forth. But one really is what kicked it off for me. And one is one of the first few films I do really remember watching on the big screen. I'm just a big Indiana Jones fan in general. If you can't tell, I got the pop right there and the Blu-rays over here. But um, I can just rewatch Indiana Jones like constantly, and this first one just is always stuck with me. And it's a pretty horrifying film. When the guy's face melts, I was forgot that a PG-13 movie could have that. And I'm gonna go watch Indiana Jones right after this. It's my number one favorite Steven Spielberg film, and I don't think any of you guys are gonna guess this, but it's uh, Catch Me If You Can. I love this film. When I first saw it, I was like, that's a really good movie. But I constantly rewatch this film. I constantly think about this film. It's one of my favorite films of all time. Leonardo DiCaprio is fantastic in here. Tom Hanks gives one of the best performances of his career. Christopher Walken is fantastic. Easily the biggest standout. No wonder he was nominated for an Oscar for this. But Catch Me If You Can, it has that Spielberg magic. It tells a great true story that is kind of unbelievable at times, but it's such a great story. And it's just a fun con artist heist film and the fact that you're rooting for this villain who's not a villain but you get why he's doing what he's doing it's just a special film 
it has those heist elements as well. So, of course, like, I'm a big heist fan if you guys have been following my channel. And just Catch Me If You Can is a special little film that I, don't, I think a lot of people have always missed. But if you've never seen this film, it's one of Spielberg's best. It's one of DiCaprio's best. It's one of Tom Hanks' best. It's all their best. I love Catch Me If You Can to death. And when it comes down to, like, what film am I going to watch? There's a couple films that I rewatch constantly. Catch Me If You Can is always in that discussion for me. Guys, that's my Steven Spielberg list. That's my top 10 favorite Steven Spielberg films. Of course, guys, make sure to comment down below and tell me your guys' list. Again, this is my personal list. It's really hard to make these because I've been rewatching them, catching up on Steven Spielberg films that I've never seen. And some of them turned my brain to mush. But overall, it was a really entertaining time rewatching a lot of these films. And I want to hear what your guys' top 10 Steven Spielberg favorite films are. I wonder if you guys had the same list as mine or if it was completely different. And if it was, totally fine with me on that part. Guys, let's now get to the start S reactions. Of course, if you guys want to join in with this again, I'm probably going to be doing this for another top 10 video soon. So make sure to hit up my start S at Zach Pope and find all my social media links down below. And of course, also the link to start S is going to be also down below. So, but like I said, let's get started. Get to my favorite Spielberg movie, which is Jaws. This film is pure popcorn from beginning to end. Um, the thrills, the chills, the, the characters, Quint, uh, Roy Schneider, um, all of them, so great. The music, the just the whole atmosphere of this film is what created Hollywood as it is today. And it's still great 40-something years later. Yeah, Film Guy 1989, make sure to go follow him on Stardust. That is, like, really such a great, like, I can't, I, like, you're totally right on that part, like, 100% right, and Jaws really is one of those films that I think will always hold up. Zach, so you wanted to know my favorite Spielberg film of all time, and I have to give it to Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, this was one of the first movies that I really ever remember seeing when I was little, um, and I just adore it. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, I can just watch it over and over again, and I honestly don't have much else to say. I just love it. Yeah, no, dude, I agree. It was really hard not to put that in my number one. It, actually, for a while it was, but then I watched rewatch watched Catch Me If You Can. I was like, yeah, Catch Me If You Can is my favorite film. And uh, no, yeah, that was Sir Beats underscore YT. Make sure to go follow him as well. But he's totally right. Like, on that part, like, it is really just... Raiders of the Lost Ark is a fantastic film. Now, for my last Stardust reaction, I'm actually going to go to Ready Player One, a brand new film, because I actually want to get one of my good buddies in on here, and that's Griffin from Men Vs. Movies. So... Let me check out. Let me show you Sardis. So just got out of Ready Player One. Got a nice little advanced screening here. And I was very happy with it. This is classic Spielberg with his modern knowledge, but the classic feel of his 80s films. Uh, I read the book, so it is a little different. But judging them separately, this one is a lot of fun. Great pop culture references. It's going to require multiple viewings to catch all of them. But it just has magic. It has fun. It has enjoyable characters and enjoyable set pieces. This is one you are definitely going to want to see. And yeah, like Griffin said, 100% agree. I love Ready Player One. Everything he said is totally right. Um, it's one of my favorite films of this year. Actually, it is my favorite film of this year, but I had to put Ready Player One in there just so I could talk about it more. But guys, that's the end of this top 10 video. Of course, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, especially if you're new so you guys never miss a video. Like I said, go hit up all my social media links and also check out Sandwich on Films down below where you guys can find more advanced screens for movies that might be coming towards you, like, say, I don't know, Avengers or Deadpool or hell, even A Quiet Place coming out soon. Tons of great movies that I don't want you guys to miss out on seeing early so you guys can brag to all your friends of course there's also movie news and movie reviews on there but until next time stay classy